So Sony surprised everybody and they didn't release the A7 IV. Instead, they released us something completely different than what we expected. They actually released what I think is a beast of a camera and they call it the A1. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mustafa Nassar. I'm an engineer and artist based in Toronto and my channel is focused on the creative process, art and investment. We have something in the quality engineering called the lessons learned. That means when they released the A7 III, they used the same body and modified it moving forward to say A7 IV, A7S III, and now the A1. And how can I forget the A9 II? So basically they worked with what they had and then improved it throughout the years. There is the thing that always looming on people's mind was the heat management. The A7 III was known to have some isolated issues with heat management if you're using it outside. There's a lot of people that had the camera turn off during a very high heated moment. Let's just say you're out in the field taking a video of a wedding and you are the primary videographer and your camera shut, turns off. This is a huge issue, right? And that's something that a lot of people when the Canon R5 came out, they are not confident enough to take it out and use it in the field. And what usually happens with all of the PR when they release something new, they send it out to a lot of influencers for a very short period of time, or sometimes they won't even send it, they will just get you to use it in a controlled environment where they control the ambient light, control the weather, and everything around so you have it in a very controlled environment and you cannot really get a real life test but based on what we already have from the past and everything i have conducted a full list of what i think they could have learned based on everything that they are released in the public and i'm just going to go through it so i have put down a list from a73 a74 a92 a7s3 and the a1 and I just put the A7 III and A7 IV just, just because, but I don't want to really use that as a basis because they have changed the body a little bit from moving from the A7 III. And we can see that the changes from the A7 III to A7 IV, the width of the camera increased by almost two millimeters. The length was around half and the depth was quite a bit actually. So they actually beefed up the a7 IV. in my opinion that would make it a better for heat management because they give it a little bit extra room comparing the weight of the a7 III to 650 and 665 so the components could be very very similar but when they added that extra width that means they probably have better heat sinks that can cool off the camera but now i will just wanted to focus on the a1 and the A1 and the Sony A92 have very similar bodies. And I just put it down there. And I also I put the latest release, which is the A7S III. They all have similar bodies, except for the A9 had 77.5 millimeter depth. But the A1 is using the A7S III depth, which is 80.8 millimeters. That means that basically what they've done for the A9, they're pretty much using everything from the A7 III and they're just modifying some stuff, especially when it came down to the sensor because in the A1, they're using the, the RS CMOS rather than using the R CMOS. The, the main difference is the sensor megapixels. In the A7S III, it's 13 and the A1 is a whopping 50.1 megapixels. So that brings a lot of concern for a lot of people. I was like, well, the thing is A7S3 just released. We don't have enough data to show that if this heating issue is fixed. But the thing is, this is not an apples to apples because they're we're using completely different sensors. But the thing is that I can have a little bit of confidence when I look at there's something that could be measured which is the power draw. When you look at the power draw between the S7, S3, which is around 7.3 to 7.6 watts. And for the A1, they reduced that 
down to 6.6 .6 watts so that's almost 11 percent of improvement that means a lot less heat is generated hopefully that would help heat dissipation of the camera in most situations but the thing is because we don't have that out yet we don't have actual data i don't have the blueprints i can't tell for sure if this is enough for it to improve we've seen that with other products let's say if you have a processor in the computer if you undervolt that by 0.1 volts you get 40 percent reduction in heat so that tells me that this is a huge potential for, in my opinion that they are actually probably learned from their mistakes before and they took that design and improved it further and i have a little bit of confidence in this one because we're this camera ain't cheap it is gonna cost you close to six thousand plus if you want to get a lot of mods a lot of different lenses unless you're already in the ecosystem then you're just buying the body but six thousand dollars is a lot of money for a lot of people and knowing that you can get it and then still have this heat management is troublesome but just looking at what they've released in the public the heat sink system is similar to the s3 which is already improved from the a7 III and knowing that the power draw is less means that it's probably better but also we're looking at the weight it weighs 37 or 38 grams more so I am hoping that they invested a lot more on heat sinks and put a little bit more surface area to dissipate some of that heat and I honestly can't wait to see that in action like I want to put my hands on it and test it out in the real world like I don't want to see specs anymore I just want to see people going out and using it and giving us results because when you look at all of the press releases all the pictures look pretty but what matters is if you actually take it on the job and this camera fails then that is a problem and I hope I hope that Sony will do their due diligence and don't m repeat that mistake that happened with Canon and we can actually get a good camera out and just a disclaimer this is just my opinion based on my experiences and my analysis this is not a official release from sony this is not an official release i don't have the blueprints this is all speculations but it's more like an educated speculation based on the data and what they have released in the public and if you like these kind of videos i made a similar video talking about cd projects cyberpunk and uh, leave me a comment if you agree or if you don't agree let's start a conversation and i would love to hear from you until then i'll see you in the next time